guys, welcome back to another episode of the Football Manager Safe. We are in the Championship. We are in the transfer window. I can't recall without having watched back the, the last episode, because it's been a few days since we last did this, what the situation is with whether or how much I've told you about what we've done transfer-wise. So I'll give you a transfer roundup so far, and then anything else that happens from here will drip feed you as and when the deals get done. So... Um, you can see all of the outgoings here. The main ones being Luke Southwood to to Sunderland for 170 grand. We we bought in uh, Rory McCroy for 160 grand in his place, who's just as good, if not slightly better, to be fair. We sold Tashan Oklibu for 900 grand to Hull, who went there and got an assist on debut, so he's done very well to start there. Nobody else really major leaving. Obviously, Big Tone has gone out on loan to try and get some first team football. And hopefully he'll grow quite well for us out on loan at Plymouth. Incomings, uh, Hugo, who's come in and then immediately been loaned out. We're hoping he'll be a money spinner for us. Jim Naylor has come in and uh, will be a squad player for us this year. Hopefully we'll get some good growth out of him. He could potentially be a pretty good championship level player. Still quite young at just 22. An Aussie. Adako Kiabi came in on fr for free. Paying 10 grand a week, so it's my highest earner. But got a goal on debut and looks very, very accomplished. Although picked up a knock. Callum O'Dowd has come in. He may be 33, but he's still got the physicals to be able to do the job at this level. And certainly we hope he will do for us. Jorge Domingos came in. Uh, didn't get a work permit, but we're still happy enough to sign. Uh, potential Premier League standard player in the future. So we've loaned him out for a year. And we might try and sell him in the future because he's gone out on loan to Belgium. And uh, that's not going to help him get a work permit. So we've loaned him out to Belgium and we'll look to sell him for a, a sizable fee in the next summer. And Kayon Edwards, the player we bought in as a, as a backup, who's been scoring goals in League One for Fleetwood for three years. He'll either be a backup striker or a backup wide man because he's got good dribbling and his first touch is pretty handy too. He's a three-star player in all of those forward positions, which is actually quite handy. Uh, coach report-wise, good League One player, could be a good championship player. So, again, with a little bit of first-team football... And he's only 24. He can hopefully do a job for us. We are currently in the process of loaning out uh, Jordan Ross to, to Rotherham. Although I'm only happy to do that if I'm able to bring in another centre mid. Which as of yet we haven't done. We've got scouts looking at a number of players. So we'll wait and see what happens on that front. Dan Lardy to be fair does have great mentals. Uh, physically he's pretty decent as well for 6 foot and 22 years of age. But I just don't know if technically he's good enough for the championship. It's apparently a decent League One player. He has had some really good loan spells, but not at... Well, he had one season in League One with Bristol Rovers, but they then got relegated in that season. So, ah, it's tough to know whether he's cut out for the championship or not. He's definitely a backup, not a starter, which is why I'd kind of like to try and find a starter if we can. So that's what we're going to try and do between now and the end of the window. Obviously, we're in the championship now, so we have to... Start actually paying proper bloody wages. We have some money to spend. Uh, we've got 1.1 million in the transfer budget, although we've only 650 grand in the bank. So, and we've about five grand left in the wage budget, which probably isn't enough to bring in a, the quality of player that we need. However, Salford have made a loan bid here for Mikey Johnson, who I am absolutely happy to let go out on loan. That will save us some money on the. Uh, the wage budget as well, because they're going to pay him his 100% wages, and that will save me another two grand. So that frees up some more. And obviously, Kayon Edwards will come in and basically be his replacement. Callum O'Dowd also offers us more in that area, although we did obviously lose a couple more players in the window as well. So we'll crack on. Drop the video a like if you're enjoying, and making sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any more of this championship season. And we're basically just going to scout our tits off and hopefully find someone. Mikey Johnson's going to go out on loan. Thank you for your service briefly, Mikey, again for a second time. Okay, so we we asked for 950. They have said they will definitively pay me 900 grand a week. Now, he has no interest in joining Coventry, but I will accept. Should I I don't know what I don't necessarily know if I want to persuade to persuade him to join because if he says no, and we end up, and then ends up not negotiating terms, then I'll only piss him off. And then that could filter through the rest of the squad. I, I He'll reject the contract otherwise. I mean, I can try and persuade. But I'd be concerned that I'd try to persuade him to leave. 
he'll get annoyed and then we'll reject Coventry and be fucked off here as well. He is willing to enter preliminary talks, so he's not just outright saying he doesn't want to go. So I will I will just accept and we'll see what happens. So third game of the championship season, Sheffield United at home. Etienne Green in goal for them. George Baldock, Scott McKenna, Shandon Baptiste, Diogo, Diogo Gonsalves in their midfield. Oh my lord. Jude Soon Sat Bell leading the line for them. Diogo Gonsalves? Or am I thinking of Pedro Gonsalves? I think I'm thinking of Pedro Gonsalves, but still, they've got a lot of quality. Just go and enjoy yourselves, lads. There's no pressure this season for us whatsoever. Thank you, Murat, for the fourth month, my man. Appreciate it, dude. 21st or above would be lovely. Oh, that was really poor from Ralston. Can't. There's no excuse for giving a ball away like that. Just kicking it straight to them from a, your own set piece. Oh, soon as I will get there first. We are 1-0 down. It's going to be a long season though, isn't it? We've had one Sheffield United attacking highlight, which was their goal. And other than that, it's been all us. Got the overlapping run coming. Here's Lewis Gordon in the box. With the finish too. Putting himself in the shot window for Coventry City. Lewis Gordon gets his first goal of the season. That was superb. It's his first goal for us as well. He's been here two and a half seasons. That's his first goal for the club. O'Dowd with the assist, which is really pleasing too. And an excellent finish. Maybe Lewis Gordon stays. Well. Well, safe to say, if Cambridge get as far down as the National League in this save, I don't think I'll still be manager, do you? We went from there. We've got to be careful, mate. Can't just lunge in like that. Ah, soon Subbell gets there first. And there's his second goal of the season. 2-1 Sheffield United just five minutes into the second half. Well, despite the defeat, that was a competitive game. So despite the result, I am pleased with the performance. We held our own against Sheffield United there, well and truly. The result hasn't come, but as of yet, we haven't been completely played off the park by any side. Brighton went into a 2-0 lead, but we were able to, uh, to bring it back round against them. So I'm, I'm actually quite happy so far with how things have gone this season. So Reading away to the Medeski Stadium we go. Or car, select car leasing stadium. We're rotating it a little bit. I don't know whether they are or not. Joe Arrivo is a player that I'm sure would be very good by now. Mateus Bogus as well has probably developed quite well. Uh, nobody expects us to get results. So just... Enjoy your football. That's basically what we're doing at the minute in the early stages of this new season. It's just enjoying the challenge of being at this level because Reading are a championship side as well. Enjoying the challenge of being at this level and whatever happens, happens this season. If we stay up, amazing. If we don't, ugh. Round a bit more. We've just had our first shot after 23 minutes. And before he throws it away again. Oh no, well done. It's not bad ball from Jim. Carlos Mendes Gomez! 1-0. Jim Naylor gets his first assist. Mendes Gomez gets his first goal of the season. Up the yellows. We lead. <laughs> Older shot back. 2-1 in front again. Up the shots. So for beating Peter Brown. 2-2. Chelsea have equalised. 1-1. Reading have equalised. Well, shit. <laughs> Well out wide to Hickey. Hickey into the middle. Oh, long staff at the back post with six seconds to go. Gets the goal. One of those teasing balls across the face of the six yard box. And at the back post, it's a case of can the defender get anything on it to help it on its way? Or is no nah, long staff just gets there first. There is a sting in the tail here, unfortunately, away from home against Reading. But we, I can't, like I said, I can't, I can't deny them the win. But again, we've been competitive against the championship side. And that was with a rotated 11 as well. Although theirs obviously might be rotated as well. Lewis Gordon has agreed to leave the club to go to Coventry. For £900,000... It's a big, big risk selling him. 
But Lewis Gordon is leaving. He is gone. And we now need to look to loan in a left back. Although the squad are unhappy. Next league game then at home against fourth place Nottingham Forest. We're playing a lot of the promotion challenges or at least good starters of the season so far which is affecting morale at the club obviously my selling of lewis gordon hasn't helped but we're planning on bringing in max low which i'd like to think if we bring max low in that will turn the morale back around they were unhappy because we sold lewis gordon but then if we replace him with someone of the same quality if not arguably potentially he's better than lewis gordon then you know they can't be too too unhappy and that should bring it back around Oh, Joe Worrell just arrives at pace. And Forrest take an early 1-0 lead. Just came flying in there, the number four. Have a look and see on the replay where he is. He's here on the edge of the box, though, and he just runs in unmarked, arrives and smacks it home. It's going to be another defeat, but we're, we're not losing by much each game, are we? It's like 1-0 or 2-1 or 3-2, as it was against Brighton. We're, we're so nearly... Able to compete at this stage. He chose Wickham. Right. That puts us in a bit of a pickle. That puts us in a bit of a pickle. Because we were kind of counting on Max Lowe coming in. Uh, mm, now I am a little bit stretched on transfer deadline day. And things are getting a bit panicky. We really hope to make that a permanent signing at left back, and he's gone to he's gone down a division. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm not having Hayden Roberts. Thank you very much. Darby now big bid for Hayden Roberts. He's seemingly popular, Hayden Roberts, but no one else is actually stumping up any sort of real cash for him. Three hours to go, still waiting on that left back. I need Sam Lavelle to it. <gasps> Thank God. Reese Staunton is going to join. Oh. Deal done with two hours to go. Staunton is in. Hopefully, that is. Has that satisfied the, the depth thing? Uh, dressing room atmosphere is fine. Strength of the team's first team squad succeeded. Okay, good. We've completed all the promises. Although as we have the opportunity to complete the minute. So that should hopefully ensure that everybody everybody's happy again. Really, really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. Sam Lavelle's gone only on loan to Preston for the year. So Lavelle will come back to us. I think, I think I'm happy now with Lebihan in and now Reece Staunton in as well. And the fact that Staunton can play in so many different positions, left back, centre back, maybe even a CDM as a half back. I, I think, I think I'm okay with where we are now. Everyone else seems to be pretty happy as well. See, they're only offering like 500 grand total for Aiden Roberts. Who's just a better player than that. There's, no, there's only an hour to go. So that's going to be the end of deadline day here. And the football manager save. We've got, a get, we've got a game in like two days time. Was it against Queen's Park Rangers? Daniel James has gone from Norwich to West Ham. Really done much Norwich in the past couple of seasons. Now Darby's made a last gasp bid with 45 minutes to go, but it's lower than the bid that we just rejected from Charlton. Forest have made a, an approach to try and loan Dave Roberts, which is intriguing. So I am. I mean, they all agree with Sam Smith, but we've 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 done that promise. Hopefully, it will actually give me a, an email. Acknowledgement of that. We've seen a huge improvement in the dressing room atmosphere and we've succeeded there. We've offered James Claridge a new contract. 
And Conor Masterson, we're playing him as a centre-back in a central defender role, which is fine. It's just Jim Naylor wants to be played at right-back. So I'm going to need to give Jim Naylor a couple of uh, a couple of games at right-back. Well, that's not a problem. We can do that, absolutely. I'm intrigued to see how Dave Woods gets on at Forest. If he does well for Forest, then absolutely that could be a signing that we could potentially look for in the future. But we have brought in Callum O'Dowd, Kayon Edwards and Robin McCrory, as well as Lewis Gordon, Tash Notley Booth, and Claudio Fru now going out. We've made a decent amount of money in this window. We've made 2.1 million, but spent 825k, which is most we've ever spent. But we have we've had to start spending money. Actually, apparently we spent 240 last. We spent a decent amount of money last year as well. 925k last year, and we didn't make much coming the other way. But obviously, we've still got another transfer window to go. In that, including in that season, so. We might be in. We might end up spending even more. Uh, I'm not going to bother answering that. Financially, this is the situation then at the club. We have still one and a half million available to us in the transfer budget. Still ten grand available to us in the wage budget, and uh, just over a million pounds in the bank. And a squad that is, I think, I think, good enough to keep us up. We're pretty strong in every area, to be honest. Took promotion to the championship with Dover to get a takeover. Yeah. So Queen's Park Rangers then. They've still got Lyndon Dykes up top. Sam Field in the middle, formerly of West Brom. Uh, Oliver Nguy in there is a player that we previously looked at potentially loaning, but never actually pulled the trigger on. George Long, backup goalkeeper for them. Tyler Walker's on the bench as well, a player that in his 30s, early 30s, we thought about maybe going for. But we went for the guy from Fleetwood instead, who's still on his way back from injury and hasn't actually featured for us yet. This could, uh, to be fair, it's away though. If this was at home, I'd have said this would absolutely be a game that we should look to win. I'd be happy with getting another point on the board at the moment. Obviously, we've been losing quite a few games of late, but it has been against sides that are absolutely considerably better than us. But this is the opportunity to maybe get a point against the mid-table side and start to get the points tally ticking over again and get us a little bit further away from that relegation zone. Vincent to Peter Bartlett. It's a really positive start here. If it ends in a even just a chance, I'll be happy enough. Sam Smith, I think, was offside there. He slammed it home, but he was offside. I mean, a great move. Ball in the back of the net with, within a minute. But it was quite a way off there, Sam Smith. Not even close. That would be the one area I might look to might look to change things in January. Would be probably sell Sam Smith if he doesn't pick up many goals between now and January and sign a like actually spend money proper money on a on a striker that will help hopefully fire us to survival that'll do an especially unforgettable draw is what it said in the commentary but it's our second lot of points in the season and a clean sheet a first clean sheet at championship level away from home at Loftus Road. That is absolutely worth praising the boys for. Really pleased with that. So Derby County away. Round the corner for me, IRL. And I'll certainly be going to that away game next season for Cambridge. Levi Colwell at the centre-back for them. Santiago Munoz up top. Pressure's all on them. Pressure's all on them. Let's see what we can do away from home at Pride Park. Thank you for the follow Mick, welcome to the channel, mate. Ah, oh, we're conceding from head from set pieces again. Yikes. 1-0 Derby, but let's be honest, it's been coming. We are yet to have a shot in the 41st minute. So this is the first time we've been outplayed. I think it's safe to say we need a new striker, though, for championship level, don't you? Sam Smith has destroyed League One for seven straight seasons, but just, I think we've gotten to this level too late for him. And he's just not gonna cut it at championship level at 30. Where's the through ball? There it is. You can see it happening. I pointed it out before it happened. John Clark, Benga makes it 2-0 Derby. Uh, that was disappointing, uh, to say the least. Really disappointing, but never mind, eh? Forest, green, away. It's been a while since we've been to the new lawn. 
now called Eco Park. Antoine Hackford up top for them. Logan Pye in the back. Luke Matteson at right back. Sharkic at in goal. I mean, there's nothing that stands out about that side, but we need to we need to put an end to our recent run of results. Forest Green away, even though they've had a good start to the season, it's absolutely a fixture we could see ourselves winning. They've out progressed us in this save, Forest Green. Obviously, at the beginning, they were in League One, League Two, while we were in League One, and they have since gone up to the Championship sooner than we did. It'd be nice. I mean, we've had a lot of away games recently. It'd be nice to go and play back at home again. I just want Sam Smith to start scoring. We've played some nice football and we have been creative in... Come on, Sam, bury this, please. Oh, yes! What did I say? I just want Sam Smith to start scoring. We spoke to him about his form. We spoke to Bartlett about their form. One has assisted the other. Up the fucking yellows. We lead by a goal to nil. Newport about to get a 2-1 win away from home against Port Vale. Come on, Peter. How's your cross? Not bad. Callum O'Dowd is there. Adekoye, is he onside? He is. No, he's not. The flag is up. Balls. Very nearly. Very nearly. It's what we put him on for to try and nick a goal. That's a win. That's a win at championship level once again. Really, really, really dominant performance. No shadow of doubt as to who deserved that victory whatsoever. It moves us up to 18th in the table. With only two points off the drop, annoyingly, because Birmingham were able to win their game in the end. 3-1 at home against Brighton, who continue to struggle. Big Tone still doing all right. Peter Bartlett certainly played very well in that last game. I asked him to, and he did, and we've ended our winless run. And Sam Smith picked up a goal when I asked him to as well. Massive lift. Let's see what we can do moving forward then from there. We have West Brom at home next. But I'm not going to change the winning side, certainly. Maybe we might make one or two alterations just purely for stamina. But I don't think we're going to want to change too much. West Brom are 13th. Then Birmingham at home as well is going to be a big, important game. Charlton away are currently top of the table, Charlton. Bloody hell. They're a side that beat us in a playoff semi-final in League One. They're on a brilliant start to the season. But two big home games coming up. Over the course of the next week. It'd be nice to get back at home. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six away games for our three home games so far. So nice to get back in front of our own fans. But that will draw us to a close for this Football Manager segment. For those of you on YouTube, make sure you drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel. You won't miss out on more. And follow the link down below to the Twitch channel. You can come and enjoy these live and in their entirety and see all of the behind the scenes. But for those of you on YouTube on the Chesnoid Plays channel, I will see you next time.